welcome everyone. Uh, today we have with us Mr. Uh, Aniban Chaudhary. He is the HOD of uh, Electrical Department uh, in Dr. Sudhir Chandra Sur Degree Engineering College, and he's going to share a few thoughts with us about the uh, education and uh, about his philosophy of teaching as well. So welcome, welcome, sir. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good evening to all of you. Thank you to the entire College Dunia team. I feel privileged for getting invited. Right, sir. Uh, thank you so much for uh, such kind words. So, sir, uh, my first question for you is regarding, uh, you know, how how you function in the organization uh, with your colleagues, with your faculty colleagues, and also how do you tend to establish a healthy relationship with your students as well. So can you give us some uh, limelight, you know, share some thoughts about that? Of course, because the thing is that uh, the bonding between the students and the colleagues is of utmost importance. Like we have a very strong, first I will highlight the students and then I will come to the faculties. So let me tell you that the students, there is a very robust mentoring scheme. And for each year, uh, for a number of 30 students, we have one of the mentors assigned. And uh, be it a pandemic situation or a non situation, the instruction that is given to the mentors is to establish a student satisfaction. How is it established that the students must be free to express anything to their mentor so that they, they may come with any problem, be it academic, be it non-academic, doesn't matter. But that problem is generally well handled by all the mentors. And our the mentors tell the students that I am reachable over phone anytime you can call me. I'm free to the mentors and thus a healthy relationship is established. Now, if I come to the faculties, the thing is that uh, there are, apart from the academics part, different types of events are organized. And uh, there are there, in a person, there has to be some strength, there has to be some weakness, right? So uh, the functions of the events are organized so that all the US positives of the faculty are excavated. Like somebody is good in drama, somebody is good in singing, somebody is very good in event management, right? So the thing is that uh, this particular thing is much taken care of. And uh, we give enough room so that faculties are able to express their talents through such type of events or such type of activities. Okay, sir. Uh, so uh, my next question is regarding the departments only, but then I would like to know how the department is coping with the pandemic that's been going on. So uh, is there any changes that we have made to the curriculum or how are you coping uh, with everything that's been going on in the outside world? Exactly. The thing is that uh, if you know the AT is making constant changes in the curriculum and accordingly, the mark-out curriculum is also changing. And It is a way that they address the recent requirements of the industries. I can give you one or two examples. Like in electrical engineering, if you say uh, the electric vehicles, right? Communication engineering. Then uh, some of the, you can say, uh, like renewable energy. These are some of the latest things which are incorporated in the curriculum. Then another important thing which we have is the energy management and audit. So these are the subjects which are required if a student after graduating from our institution go into the institute. so curriculum is constantly being updated by the uh, mark out uh, officials and it is periodically being reviewed and also apart from the curriculum we have something called bct or beyond the curriculum training so they are some of the uh, courses which are very much required nowadays in the industry like the plc scada internet of things so all these things are taught for uh, 14 days, that means two weeks, to all the students on a rotational basis. That means between every semester, we are having those BCT courses. Apart from that, we have the webinars and their uh, different experts from the different industries are being invited and they deliver uh, those things which are uh, latest state of art of technologies which are prevalent nowadays in the industry. So this is how we are uh, acting updating ourselves by changing the curriculum and also by changing the experiments which are being organized from the college or the department. Okay, sir. Uh, so, sir, can you tell me something more about a department? Like, uh, 
what how do you ensure in the department that the best practices uh, you know of the industry are you know practice uh, let's say for example like you said about uh, you know be, thinking beyond the curriculum uh, so how do you uh, formulate all these things like uh, how do you come up with the curriculum like is there any thought process that was beyond it or uh, like give me more thoughts about it yes actually uh, you see uh, there is a community in our college which is the alumni community and the thing is that we have several alumni interactions right so those alumni are working in various parts of the world not only in india but across the world and in this pan- pandemic situation rather than seminars webinars have much have gained a lot of popularity and lot of webinars are being uh, organized in the department and the students who are living abroad we are fortunate that we are constantly through these webinars we are in touch with them and they suggest when alumni talks and alumni speeches are being delivered by those alumni they say that if this thing can be introduced let us say iot let us say uh, plc let us say scada so all these things if these are introduced in the curriculum in the training form or in the hands on form or in a subject form then it will be beneficial to the student so a constant feedback is being taken from the existing students who are there as well as from the alumni and also there are expert acad- academicians who are invited from the reputed institutions like jadavpur university iiis tishipur and they are also they give us their value that, that these things should be pursued and when these thing these opinions are collected and there is a sale which is known as the internal quality improvement sale in our and all these things are basically reviewed over there and corrective actions are taken accordingly as per their suggestions and those steps or the corrective measures it may be a modification in the thing which is known as the tlp and that thing is being approved in the board of governor meeting that is the boj meeting so this is where new thing is basically implemented and after it's not that we implementing the things how the students are responding whether they are able to take that up whether they are able to understand that so a closed monitoring system that is the robust student feedback which is an online feedback system it is taken on every semester this is how we establish a relationship between the academia the industrial expert as well as our alumni who are there and accordingly our curricular gets modified yes sir uh, yeah that was quite a good answer like i mean very thoughtful uh, comprehensive answer okay so uh, next question for you is more about uh, what what the goal of the institute is in the next 10 years like uh, what are you trying to achieve as a as the, uh, the college as a whole like what's your priority what's your focus on and what are you trying to achieve yes it is a very important question and uh, we all know it is needless to say that there are lots and lots and plenties of engineering colleges around us that we see but the most important question amongst that is that why student should choose dr sudip chandra should degree engineering college on top of other colleges we have to provide something which other colleges do not provide or maybe we are having one step which with respect to the other colleges one of the most and the foremost thing as is that we take utmost care and nurturing to our students that is that is a student care it is one of our pillars of success that i can assure you apart from that we have an eminent pool of faculties where their expertise in various fields are explored nurtured in all the years and all the semesters right then one of the major thing is that we have a very improved teamwork and coordination amongst ourselves among the, the academic persons as well as the non academic person which is a very important for the growth of an organization right after that we have i already told you regarding this that is we have a very robust mentoring scheme and through a robust mentoring scheme student satisfaction that is our ultimate priority that thing can be achieved more robust will be the mentoring scheme more the students will be attracted or lucrated to uh, towards our college and one important thing you already know that there is something called word of mouth that why a student should at all say that or uh, or to the newly aspirant students that whether i will get admitted to the college or not it will, they will only say that thing if they are treated well 
if they good they get quality education from this institution if they are exposed to a very good learning environment then they will recommend the students to the new aspirants or their juniors or within their family members so that the reach of the college to the society is basically growing periodically growing throughout the time apart from that this thing is lacking in many of the institutions that is we have a very elaborate sports ground which has which has tie up with the sports authority of the india and we all know that extra curricular activities are very important nowadays for you can say fitness as well as for personality grooming so exposure is given to the students who are coming and joining this organization as well as we have various faculty tournaments which are held on that particular venue next is we are having an excellent infrastructure basically our laboratories they are periodically reviewed in every semester proper budgets are sanctioned and our laboratories are up to date and they are equipped with the latest state of art of technologies which is the most important or you can say which is the heart of any academic organization that is the most important thing on top of that we have a very efficient administration that means whatever affairs are having are happening in our college the thing is that they are administered it is not not that it is always an academic thing the non academic activities are there in the college so things are monitored very closely with a very efficient administration the top most priorities we have is the research work and all the faculties who are uh, in our mentor in our you can say institution they have registered for their phd's or they have completed their phd's and constantly they are they are giving tireless efforts to foster research environment or research activities within the students like i can say uh, how to write a research paper how to write a thesis right so these things are constantly important also we have organized some of the conferences with springer one was happened in the last 20 uh, 2019 december the next we will be having in the uh, september or december uh, due to the pandemic it is delayed a bit but again we will be having another conference we are also having one student conference that means who are new to the research environment to know the significance of the research we have created a platform for themselves that you do research work you start writing research paper that is one of our very strong environment which is not given by other colleges i can assure you apart from that there is something called idea o meter it is a platform that is developed by the gis administration that any innovative idea that the students are having they can basically put this in in a community which is known as the idea o meter where there are financial you can say grants if a community thinks that this project should be funded the students gets funding if it is approved and once the funding is there that student can easily develop that project it may be a project it may be a you can say a book it may be a any innovative idea that is entertained in the idea o meter platform apart from that we have several other bodies known as the internal quality improvement committee research and development committee anti ragging co uh, committee grievance cell committee where periodic meetings are there and any issues which arises they are instantly solved through these committees so this is why these are the strengths of our college and looking at the strengths students should come into our college okay sir yeah uh, uh, so one final question for you sir uh, it's regarding the pandemic uh, like students are attending classes from home most of the students are attending classes from home and they feel like they're missing out on uh, various activities like you said extracurricular activities uh, personal development activities and peer learning so what uh, advice would you give them i mean uh, you know they probably sat in their rooms right now at, like as is like how we all are during this pandemic so any advice that you would like to give them as to how to overcome this mental yeah yes uh, i know that uh, there is a pandemic and the students the psychological it is not only about the students even our faculties and including myself also sometimes feels a bit down and we need to constantly motivate ourselves to regain the proper tempo so that at the end of the day we think that we have to be there for our students and if we do not uh, take care of ourselves how can we take care of our students so there are several you can say activities in our institutions there is an iic cell which is there 
and yoga sessions psychological counseling sessions these are basically periodically carried out in these sessions so that there is a spiritual and mental upliftment for the student fraternity or the student community you can say apart from that i want to suggest all my uh, students uh, whether i belong to an electrical engineering department it is not that everyone is my students be that person maybe may not belong to our organization or our institute everybody who are basically wanting to pursue engineering as a career everyone is my student so a message goes out from my end to all of them that is that uh, you have to create multiple avenues see the competitive market is around us it is not that easy to get a job so that you have to keep backup plans like suppose the first priority will be your job if job is not there then you have to have an avenue where you can pursue higher studies right it may be a gate examination that is masters in engineering it may be an mba it may be some other certified courses so you have to do something else apart from the job so that your curriculum vitae that is the cv that is enriched continuously so a concept because you are sitting at your home like it is a pandemic situation it is also true now coming to the college and going to home that time is being saved this thing is also true so when the time is being saved you should do something productive so that your curriculum vita is continuously being enriched this is a message that goes to my student that whenever you are taking any decision you should first think you should first analyze and then you should take your own decision and listen to your heart heart and do not uh, get provoked by the others and that will help you to succeed in life this is the message from my end that goes out to all the student community or fraternity uh, absolutely right sir uh, sir uh, i have exhausted all my questions uh, but yeah you have pretty much covered every question and you have given us much more uh, than we could have imagined in such a short duration so thank you sir thank you for joining with us and we hope to see you again soon uh, thank you thank you it is my pleasure and uh, i pray to the almighty that our entire mankind gets out of this covid situation and the healthy community and unhealthy world is again restored thank you thanks to all your team thank you